Now, who is Al-Qaeda? We all heard about bin Laden. He's the leader of Al-Qaeda. He's the spokesman for Al-Qaeda. Well, a leading journalist from Pakistan who's recently done a book on the number two man, Ayman al-Zawari, says bin Laden is a front man. Ayman al-Zawari is the real brains in Al-Qaeda. He's the real strategic leader in Al of Al-Qaeda. He is an Egyptian. He was involved, they believe, in the assassination of Anwar Sadat 20 plus years ago. The most famous Egyptian terrorist. Let me give you a little history of Ayman al-Zawari. Ayman al-Zawari was involved in the breakup of Yugoslavia. He was encouraging Islamic violence against the Christians in Yugoslavia, against the Croatians and the Serbians. His originally, he tried to establish his headquarters in Switzerland, but Switzerland kicked him out. So where did he go? He went to Bulgaria, where he set up his headquarters. Bulgaria is a former communist country that is under the control of secret communist structures, particularly the old Bulgarian secret police. Like many of the East Bloc countries, it's liberalized on the surface, but underneath, the communist structures control the economy, the military, and the police forces. He could not have operated there without their knowledge and without their consent and support. That's why he went there. He didn't go to France. He didn't go to Italy. He went to Bulgaria. Next, where did, did Ayman al-Zawari do his banking? We know from the reporters of the Wall Street Journal that Ayman al-Zawari did his banking in mainland China. And in 1996, after visiting mainland China, he went to Russia, where he disappeared for several months, only to reemerge in 1997 to come to Afghanistan to be by the side of bin Laden. When he arrived, they said, what were you doing in Russia? His original story was that he was kidnapped by criminals in Russia. Then later, it was discovered that he had been in the custody of the Russian secret police. And he said, oh, yes, but they didn't know who I was, so they released me. According to the Wall Street Journal report on this, many top figures in Al-Qaeda left because they believed that Ayman al-Zawari was a Russian agent. And they didn't want to have anything to do with the organization at that point. When this became a more embroiled controversy, Ayman al-Zawari uh, uh, developed stomach troubles and just simply withdrew. And then the issue, as most issues, passed away. Ayman al-Zawari, of all of the terrorists in Afghanistan, in the Arab world, had one theme consistently, again and again, we know from the reports, attack America, attack America, attack America. While other Islamists and Arabs said, look, they're crushing Islam in Western China. The Russians are crushing our brothers in Chechnya. Saddam Hussein is crushing Islam in Iraq. The Turks are crushing some of our extremist brothers. In Pakistan, there is trouble with India. There were a lot of fish to fry in the Islamic world. Why attack America? But that was Zawari's theme, and he pounded it home, and he led that organization to that. Now, what are the objectives of Al-Qaeda's terrorism? They have been stated by Ayman al-Zawari, by bin Laden, and by Mullah Omar, the head of the Taliban. Al-Qaeda leaders have said right after 9-11, even before 9-11, and ever since, their main objective is to destroy United States of America. That's fantastic, right? How can a few thousand terrorists destroy a nation of 300 million people? That's crazy. How could they do it? Even if they had a few atomic bombs, they couldn't do it. They could create a mess. They could kill some people. But this country is so great that how could they possibly expect to destroy it? It's an interesting question. No terrorist organization could expect to destroy the United States unless it was part of an alliance of nation states dedicated to that same cause. I would suggest to you that the mission of Al-Qaeda to destroy the United States, the legend of Al-Qaeda, that it has emerged as the base and it's going to liberate the Islamic people and it's going to 
drive Israel into the sea, all of this is a diversionary operation in psychological warfare. Yes, we can expect that somebody is trying and will try to destroy the United States of America. Yes, we can expect that Islamists will have a hand in this. But the main attack against our country, when it comes, will be from the Russian Federation, the People's Republic of China, and their allies. Iran, Syria, Venezuela, Cuba, North Korea, 